When I move out one day, my mom will be very sad. I feel my mom's love in my heart, like, it's right here. I, I'm feeling it night, right now. Sometimes I love, sometimes I don't. But when I'm angry, I don't. My mom is everything to me. She just is this ray of energy and sunlight and positivity. The thing that I wish I could have done more of is thanking her. Didn't matter what shape I was in, I could always come home to mom. My mom was basically the glue that held me together. When I left the Philippines, I knew that my son will be in good hands because I know my mom will take care of him. My mom is kind of smart, you know, dad's smart. If I would say like one to 10, it would be a five. Maybe my poor dad got the raw end of the deal, but I do remember my mother saying to him when there was an argument about something I'd done, she says, you don't want to hurt her spirit. I remember that. My mom was diagnosed with uh, a really rare disease about 12 hours before she died. So we didn't get a lot of time to, to talk or to say goodbye, but she did get to say that she loved me, which were her last words. Uh, and I cherish that. Because it, I have, I've been able to hang on to it. I'm probably gonna say to my mom, you're a wonderful person. And you're my mentor. I tie a invisible string to my heart and she ties the same one to her heart and it's always attached together. My mother, she struggled a lot with addiction. Sorry, I'm getting upset. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. You know, you have partners, you have friends, you have kids, um, but there is nobody else who, um, who will ever care about you as much. My son now always tells me, I love you, Mama. But for 48 years, I realized I didn't say I love you to my mom. I can think of three words. I forgive you. You were a good mom. You did really good. And thank you, mom. I love you, mom. Hey, Chelsea, if moms got paid, how much do you think they should get paid in a year for being a mom? Maybe a hundred dollars.